Hey guys, Quentin TV here and welcome to a brand new video where yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. I have uploaded consistently, yes, for the last like what, three days, I don't know, something like that. Uh, but yeah, basically today we're back with another one of these videos which uh, I know, I think the last proper one I did where we actually had a subject to talk about was the uh, Helldivers video I did quite a few months ago now. But um, yeah, basically, I know I did an X-Defiant ex video yesterday, and you're seeing some X-Defiant here today. This is some gameplay I got yesterday, I want to say, in preparation for this video. For me, like, doing two X-Defiant videos, like, within a day of each other was not planned at all, and I don't think anything like this has happened on the channel before. I think I did, like, two Skyrim videos, but they were uploaded like in the same day so I wouldn't really consider those like two in a row that sort of like one upload day we had yesterday with X Defiant which if you haven't seen that video definitely go check it out it was a good one but today I actually have a topic to talk about and that is the state of X Defiant and by that I mean over on Twitter you've got you guys if you've been following the game recently uh, you probably know what I'm talking about and um, people with some really fucking questionable uh, takes about the game and that is down to people wishing there was skill based matchmaking which one of the main selling points like I mentioned this in my initial X Defiant video in the beta test I mentioned the game had no skill based matchmaking whatsoever and that was sort of like a main like draw to a lot of people like that's what got me interested into the game and I know a bunch of other YouTubers sort of got interested uh, in the game because of that as well but now, apparently, some retards over on Twitter are demanding that they basically turn X Defiant into a rip-off Call of Duty clone with killstreaks. That's one big thing I've seen uh, going about on Twitter that people want for some reason when it basically just goes against what X Defiant is. You basically get a free killstreak in X Defiant in the form of like your ultimate ability or whatever, which we did have in COD with specialists for a while, but I think it works a lot better in X Defiant than it does in Call of Duty. If you remember, I'm not a big fan of specialists in Call of Duty. Like operators, yeah, they're getting a bit annoying now. I don't know why they just don't let us create our own character, but within X Defiant, you have like sort of the ultimate and they all work really well they're not like shit like in call of duty and they actually fit the theme of the game because it's like call of duty mixed with overwatch sort of thing so in my in that regard at least kill streaks just don't really make any sense because you've got your ability as well which like in this game i believe i'm playing as the phantoms and you've got like the drop shield or the sh the, like, the regular ballistic shield that you can use as like your sort of equipment and then you obviously got a grenade and then uh, you have your ultimate ability which is basically like if you're good enough you get a free kill streak anyway so I don't understand the argument that this game needs to be a Call of Duty clone to be successful like adding in kill streaks and a bunch of other fucking features that really don't make any sense within the realm of X Defiant and the skill based matchmaking is just dumb like, we've been complaining about Call of Duty having skill-based matchmaking for years now. It seems like every other day there's a video made on the subject. Basically, X Defiant's main selling point that it hasn't had skill-based matchmaking implemented beyond, like, the welcome playlist. And then these fucking lunatics come in and just go, oh yeah, we need it because I'm tired of fucking xyz like getting stomped on and tired of being on a team with a bunch of shit people and then if you like try to combat this and just say we don't want every game to be sweaty and they're like oh you just want to go around fucking stomping on some kids or something which i don't personally understand this argument because i know this is how cod always was like you were really bad and then if you got shat on by someone, you wanted to be better. And then inherently that, you know, drives engagement by making you want to play the game more and also ultimately improving you as a player throughout the course of the game. But for some reason, like, I don't know if it's like TikTok giving us all fucking brain rot recently or just people who've been growing up with, you know, just the need for everyone to like, oh, held their hand or some shit like that. Fucking, I don't understand, like, why skill-based matchmaking 
is now being brought up in the context of X Defiant and people saying that we actually need it. I really do not understand it whatsoever. Like the whole point of the game and how we all originally heard of it is it had no skill based matchmaking, but now people are just coming in and demanding that they implement it to make it fairer, which I know I remember Zavo used to hold this position for a bit, like skill based matchmaking makes it, you know, more accessible to new players, which does sound in theory true. Like, say, for example, X Defiant, I'm not particularly good at the game. I'm getting there, like my aim's improving because the game has a lot less aim assist than Call of Duty. But my aim is getting better, and yeah, I'm slowly improving in the game. So say X Defiant did have skill based matchmaking, I'd be like up here. Like, this is like your top bracket, I guess. I'm not sure if you can even see that. I'll lower it down. But that's like your top skill bracket here. I don't know why I moved this hand. It's top skill bracket. This is me. And then you got the bottom down here, which I'm also not sure if you can see that. But um, people who are just playing down here and then eventually move up to my level, we will basically just play each other unless I'm shit, I'll drop down. You guys know how skill-based matchmaking worked. It basically just means, although it sounds good in theory, let's be honest, like having newbies get ranked up with newbies that does sound good in fair in theory sorry however in practice it just means that people who are slightly better at the game just get punished and you end up just not wanting to play the game like i don't really want to play modern warfare 3 as much because i'm aware of skill-based matchmaking so x defiant has come out at an absolutely perfect time where i'm sick of call of duty and i just want to play a game that's actually fun and x defiant is fun i cannot go on the game now and not have fun like i enjoy all the matches i've been mainly playing like hot shot and domination uh those have been absolutely brilliant the guns feel great it feels like old call of duty with the added like overwatch sort of uh vibe added into it but with the implementation of skill-based matchmaking i'm not sure where it's come from like it's just people's brains have just been too conditioned to have like the game hold their hand and take them through the whole experience instead of you know doing what we all did i'm assuming that most of you have been playing call of duty for around the same time that i have and it just means that with your hand being held throughout the entire experience like you're not really improving and when you do like improve in that bracket you get moved up into a new one where you get absolutely fucking stomped on and then move back down and you just constantly move between the two brackets you're never really improving that much of the game because call of duty let's be honest has held our hands for years now like people who are coming into x defiant are basically just blaming the game for the fact that they're bad and they need skill-based matchmaking to hold their fucking hand and honestly it's fucking embarrassing like how can you claim to be good at a game and then just be like, oh, we need skill-based matchmaking to make it fairer for us? Like, fuck off. The rest of us had to go into the game. You know, we're not great at it, but we're slowly improving. That's how video games have always been played. Like, look at Elden Ring. Like, if you guys know anything about that, if you watch me on videos, I am fucking shite at that game. However, on my main save, I've improved drastically because now I'm at Morgoth when, like, a few months ago, I was stuck at Godric and I just stuck at the game, learnt the mechanics, learnt the bosses, and just got through it eventually. And I kind of made really good progress for a while until I kind of stopped playing on my main save because x defiant came out i've been playing a lot of that and yeah it's been absolutely loads of fun playing this game i really do not understand the argument that some of these call of duty fans coming over that they want the game to be more like cod like let's be honest we all started playing this game to get away from cod i'm fucking sick of cod at the moment i don't want to play it really as much as i like the core gameplay without skill-based matchmaking that's like obviously a big without there i like the gameplay of modern warfare 3 i think it plays great however i don't want to play it because every game is like going into a cdl champs match and believe it or not that's the most not the most you know relaxing experience especially like i work i do i go to uni and when i'm coming back from that i don't want to be just constantly fighting for every game to be played like i'm being fucking put up against cdl rejects and they're like fucking bunny hopping around doors fucking camping fucking doing all this shit we know that better players get matched with better players and my argument is that's not really fun it's really sweaty 
And who wants to play every single game of Call of Duty like that? I can hop onto X Defiant and yeah, there's some games we lose. Don't get me wrong. I've seen people going, oh, we go on these massive win streaks. I don't fucking, I don't know how that's possible. I just go, I'll like win a few games. I'll play really hard. I try to play the objective. And then my teammates just decide, nah, let's play this game like it's Call of Duty and not go for the objective. But a message to the people who, you know, are asking for skill-based matchmaking in this game, asking for kill streaks, and asking for a bunch of other fucking gay features that Call of Duty has. All I can say is, fuck up. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a rambly video. Uh, I'm going to be currently working on a lot of videos while I'm here. Like, as I'm recording this, it is Tuesday, the uh, 4th of June. Uh, we're getting a new house sorted, so that's taking up a bit of time as well. I'm trying to work on as many videos as possible. And, yeah, basically, I'm making this now. I'm going to probably work on another one just before I go to bed, which should be in about four hours or so. Um, but I'm just trying to work on as many videos, get as many out for you guys, and yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. I should have a bigger video coming out on, I don't know, I want to say uh, Saturday, uh, don't quote me on that, it might be Sunday, who fucking knows, but we'll have to wait and see. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video here. If you did enjoy, please do the like and subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications so you never miss a single video, or alternatively, you can join the Discord server as a link down below. But anyway, this has been Quinton TV. I'll see you all in the next one.